Oops. I was so in the habit of actually... Hi, I'm Troy. Well, whatever. At that point, hi. Welcome back to the tour. I'm really real. At that point, I appreciate if it's still two people watching or if it's one person or maybe it's multiplied and it's four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Hashem. You know why? Because his root word is hash, but it's C-H for chase or it's cash. At that point, you have the whole Hebrew language mixed up in one word. And that's what I've learned in the last three and a half years. So I'm here to share. The rebellion in the wilderness is what we're doing right now. We might as well be the sons of Korah. Trust me, I'm separated from my family and I chose the Moses Torah way. To the raw Torah. Are you from the line of Levi? Or Reuben? Or Benjamin? Are you jamming or be jamming? It's so funny the language that I've learned. Anyways, it sounds a lot like riddles, but then I talk in parables. So does Jesus. We talk a lot. We've learned the same language. And this is really the language of love because you have to love the aroma and really get immersed in it. Like take a bath in it. Savor it. Savor it. Save the bath. Like save the aroma, right? Oh, welcome to the Sabbath. Save bath, Sabbath, B and B, canvas and cannabossum. So everything is about taking a bath, but not in water, which cleans the exterior, but in the edible lavender bath that baby Jack Jack is given because he's a ball of fire that wants to have cookies or Snickers to calm himself down all the time. And if you want to call that spirit and calm your blood down, have it flow and the force flow with you. Be like Luke Skywalker and walk on the sky. Anyways, here it is. They stood before Moses, 250 men, children of Israel, men of renown, and they gathered against Moses. And they said, why do you exalt yourself above us? And Moses spoke to Korah and to his entire assembly. And he said, in the morning, Hashem will make known the one who is his own and the Holy One, and he will draw him close to himself. That is a huge sentence. He will draw him close because I just read in John, Jesus says, you cannot come to me unless the Father draws you to me or unless the Father enables you to come to me and you can't get to the Father unless you come through me. At that point, you have to believe in the fire and the wood and the Holy Spirit, which is the smoke that cleans and washes and... Wa you know what it does? It waters the tree. We are a tree. You want to water the outside of a tree? Pour water on it. You, water wa you want to water the inside of a tree. The endo land of Cana. The inside part of a tree where it rots and it withers from the inside due to bitterness and yuck and poison the mind of the world, clean it out. I suggest you clean it out daily. I think in Deuteronomy it says when you walk along the road, when you sit down, when you wake up, and when you go to sleep. At that point you're doing it four times a day. Okay, so he spoke to the sons of Korah. Hashem will make himself known. He will choose whomever he will choose. He will draw close to himself. Now, Proverbs 6.27 is, Can a man draw fire into his bosom? Can a bosom? Right there in the Torah. Do this. Take for yourselves fire pans, Korah and his entire assembly himself. Uh, and his entire assembly. And put fire in them and place incense upon them before Hashem tomorrow. Then the man whom Hashem will choose, he is the Holy One. It is too much for you, O offspring of Levi.